We finally have an easy way to make our elements appear and disappear from our Canva videos and animations with the help of a timeline. Let me show you how it works from a desktop and from a mobile phone. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's start from my computer. There is something important I have to tell you and it is that at the moment when I'm filming this tutorial this feature is not fully rolled out to all Canva users so if you don't see it on your account yet please wait patiently because this feature will appear soon on your account. I'm gonna show you how to access and how to work with this feature from a desktop but also from a mobile phone. So let's start with the desktop version. Here I am in canva.com, this is the homepage, and the first step is to create a new video project or a new video document. We're gonna go to the videos section, and from here you can select any of these formats. I'm gonna go for a mobile video and click on create blank. Once in the Canva editor, you can start working with a template or you can start from scratch. I'm gonna create a video from scratch, so I already have the video that I'm going to use in the upload section. If you don't have your video uploaded yet, you can go to upload files and select the file that you want to work with. I'm gonna go to videos because I already have my video in here and I click on the video to bring it to my design. I'm going to adjust the size so it covers the complete page and now I'm going to add text to my video. As you can see in this video I'm pointing to different sections on the screen and what I want to do is that I want text to appear on these three sections where I point to. So let's create the text box. Let's go to text and add a text box. I'm gonna adjust or customize this text box a little bit so it matches my brand style. So I'm gonna go to font, I'm gonna go for Montserrat semi bold, I'm gonna go to effects, background, and then I'm gonna change this color to pink. I'm gonna change the color of the text to white and then increase the size. Okay. There we go. Okay, I have my text box ready and now I just need to customize the text inside. So make text and now I'm gonna create the following text boxes that I want to have on my video. So let's duplicate this one quickly and then I'm gonna change the text. Okay, I have my text boxes ready. Now I need to double check that they are situated in the right place. So let me check my finger to see where I'm pointing at. And then I can adjust the position of my text boxes. I have my text ready, but as you can see, when I play the video, the text boxes are present from the beginning until the end. And I want them to appear at the same time as I point to the side. So how do we do this? We're gonna use the new feature in Canva, the timeline to edit the timing of these elements. To access these elements, we are going to select any of the elements present on your video or your design, and then right click and select show timing. This is going to open this timeline that is going to help us adjust the timing of every element present on the video. So I'm gonna do this for the first text box, but first let me increase the view of these thumbnails. So I have selected some thumbnails and then let me increase the size of this view so I can be more precise on the timing of these elements. Now, I'm gonna use this guy to see where is the section of the video in which I do the first pointing action. So let me see, somewhere here. And now I'm gonna grab the lateral of this line and move it until we match the section of this guide. So here we have. Now let me show you what happens when I move this guide to the beginning. We don't see the first text box. So let me move my guide and then when my finger is there, 
the text box appears. Now we can do the same for the following text boxes. Because we already have the show timing open, when I click on this text box, I will have access to the timing of this text box. So I'm gonna click and as you can see, this line is complete, is covering the full video. So that's why it is present in the whole video. So now let me move this guide to the section where I point to the side the second time. So it is somewhere here. I'm gonna adjust the length of this line and I'm gonna do the same for the following text box. So let me see where do I point the third time. Somewhere here. And then I'm gonna adjust the timing of this element. Now we have adjusted the timing of every single element individually, but if you wanted to adjust the timing of all the elements at the same time, you can select them all. And then as you can see, this purple line now has a group icon. And also we have a little arrow pointing up. When you click on the arrow pointing up, you have an overview of all the element timings. But if you were to collapse this line again and you see the group icon, when you adjust this line and then you click on the arrow again, you will see that all the elements have exactly the same timing now. And then you can of course change the position of every single element timing. In this project, I'm gonna go for the option that we did manually or individually because this one works better for my video. But yeah, just wanted to show you this option. And now what we need to do is just simply download this video. We're gonna go to share, download, mp4 and download. Remember that this feature is completely free. You can use it even if you have a Canva free account. And before we move on to the section where I show you how to use this feature from mobile, I just wanted to let you know that you can use this timeline the same way I show you with the text boxes, but you can use elements, photos and videos. Now let me show you how to access and how to use this feature from a mobile phone. Here I am in my Canva app and we're going to create a video document. So let's move this slider. Let's go to videos. And from here, you can select the format that you prefer. I'm going to go for mobile video, create blank. I'm going to go to uploads because I want to create my video from scratch. Now select upload files and select the video that you want to work with. As you can see, my video is loading. I'm going to wait until my video is fully uploaded to Canva. And with just one tap, I'm going to bring it to my empty design. Now let's stretch this video so it fills my page. And now let's add some text boxes. So let's go to the plus icon, search for the text section and add a text box. I'm going to adjust my text from here, so I'm going to change the color to white. I'm going to search for effects. I'm going to go for the last option that says background and I'm going to tap two times on this option. And then I'm going to change the color to pink. Now let's change the font. Now I'm going to change the text inside the text boxes and I'm going to position them on the right place. I have my text boxes ready and now how do we access the timeline from a mobile phone? We have two options. You can select the element and you can select the three dots. From here, you have access to show timing. So this is the first way in which you can do it, which I find it easier. Now let me show you the second way. You're gonna select your element and then you're going to slide to the left the bottom toolbar until you see this option that says more. When you click on it, you will have access to show timing. So 
Let's click on show timing so we can adjust the timing of the first text box. From here, we can follow the same steps as we did on desktop. So basically we're going to adjust the timing of every single text box. So let me select the second one and let me adjust where do I want it to appear. Okay, so when I play my video, we will see the text appearing on the screen. And then how do we have access to the grouped timeline? We're going to hold one of these elements until we see this menu appearing from the bottom of the screen. Now we're going to select multiple and like this we will be able to select the other elements on the screen. Now we're going to slide the menu to the left and show timing. As you can see we have exactly the same icon as we saw it on desktop. This is the group icon and we also have the little arrow pointing up. So when we click on the arrow pointing up we can see the timing of every single element on the video and then when we collapse this view we can adjust the timing of all the elements at the same time and let me open this view so you can see that all the elements now have exactly the same timing. Let me go back. I still want to leave this video the way I edited manually. Once your video is ready to be downloaded, you are going to use the navigation bar on top and click on the share icon. From here, select download and then leave the file type as mp4 video or if you are creating an animation, you can also download it as GIF. I'm gonna leave it as mp4 video and then download. And this is the final outcome. If you're new to Canva and you would like to create your new and free account, I left a link in the description so you can use it if you want. Also, if you are interested in learning how to blur a section on a video the same way I'm showing you right now, remember to subscribe because I'm going to publish that tutorial next week. If you liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and remember to share it with your friends. If you want to keep learning about video editing with us, I'm gonna leave you a playlist right here that I think think you are going to love and I guess this is it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!